Hell Jumpers, Chapter 23, Heroes Fallen. Go, go, go! Twilight shouted as they made their way over the long bridge back to the elevator, the corpses of former Covenant loyalists being reanimated and turned against them. Destroy the bodies to prevent the parasite from reanimating them again! The Arbiter said as he sliced a combat form in half with his energy sword. Twilight quickly picked up a brute grenade launcher from the ground and fired a shot into the group of infection forms, the small parasites being shredded to bits by the explosion. Around them, a swarm of sentinels came floating up and started shooting their plasma beams at the flood forms, giving an opportunity for the group to make a dash for the elevator. Twilight pointed a grenade launcher back at the flood chasing them and fired its entire magazine into them. Elevator's not working! She shouted as the control panel had disappeared. The ventilator shaft's back here! Scootaloo shouted back at her as she jumped down into it, Twilight also charging to the hole and jumping in as sentinels swarmed the flood outside. She smashed into the ground below and made a quick roll as to not break any bones. Scootaloo's status? She immediately asked. No flood contamination present. She reported as the filly was scanning the environment. Behind them, a loud thunk could be heard as the chief and arbiter crashed down the tunnel. What's her objective, sir? Twilight asked the chief, but got ignored as the Spartan walked down the hallway. What do you see? The Arbiter asked, but he too got ignored, the two ponies in the Sangheli looking at each other and following the Super Soldier. The Chief pushed a button on another panel which made a blast shield open up before them. Oh, is that... Scootaloo gasped as she stepped forward onto the platform next to the Chief. A massive uncompleted halo rose up from the central forge of the Ark. A replacement for the ring you destroyed. The Arbiter said in awe at the Chief. When did you know? The chief asked someone behind the group, Guilty Spark floating forward. Just now, but I had my hopes. What will you do? He said carefully, the chief answering with a hesitation. Light it. Then we are agreed. A tactical post will completely eradicate the local infestation. I will personally oversee the final preparations. The monitor said excitedly, and quickly flew off towards the ring while rambling to himself. Though it will take time to fabricate an activation index, I will see to the letter though. How will you light it? Arbiter asked the chief, who turned his head at the crashed wreck of high charity which the flood had used to get to the Ark. Cortana still has the activation index from the first Halo. Chief answered to fill in the two ponies. Wait, hold on. We're talking about lighting a super weapon here, guys. Shouldn't we, I don't know, think about this for a bit longer? Scootaloo asked incredulously, as everyone else just seemed to agree with the chief's plan. Twilight just shrugged. Spark said that this installation was out of range from the other installation, so it goes to reason that if we fired this one, the galaxy won't be affected by it as well, other than destroying the flood, that is. I... <sighs> fine, good point. Let's fire it. Scootaloo conceded, as she started to follow the Chief and Arbiter who were already making their way through the hallways of the Citadel, eventually running into three Banshees which were abandoned by the Covenant Loyalists. Well, crap. Scootaloo commented. So, Twy, are you gonna fly or am I? She asked the Alicorn, who snorted. I can't even fly you in a sea craft, let alone covenant ones. She said. You guys go ahead, I'll follow up my wing. She told the other three, while she spread her wings and flew off towards the crash space station. The three remaining soldiers all got into their aircraft and powered it up. Scootaloo flew up to the flying alicorn as she got used to the controls. Hey, Twilight, you know you could just get a lift, right? She said as she snickered at the alicorn, who silently looked at the banshee. Don't laugh. Twilight told Scootaloo as she grabbed a hold of the aircraft. Chief! I'll round up our survivors, fall back to the dawn. The shipmaster will do the same with the elites. Johnson reported as the group landed on the wreck of High Charity. The station even on the outside was covered in the fleshy gore the flood seemed to spread everywhere. Scootaloo, we're not going in. Twilight stated as the filly disembarked the Manchi. Neither of us has the energy shields to stop the infection farms from getting to us, and we can't constantly hide behind the Chief and the Arbiter when we're inside one of their hives. But that was an order, Hurricane. Twilight said before Scootaloo could protest any further. We'd only be a liability for the two of them. She continued before turning to the Chief. We'll head for the Halo while you get the Index. The Chief nodded and jumped down into the wreck, followed by the Arbiter. Scootaloo grumbled, but got back into the Banshee and fired it back up, with Twilight as a passenger behind her. She flew towards the large ring that was continuously rising into space above the Ark. After a good half an hour of flight, Scootaloo let out an annoyed scream. Oh, come on! Status? Twilight asked the filly as she felt the Banshee leveling out. This thing isn't fast enough to catch the halo! At this rate, it's gonna take hours to get to it! She replied. We're gonna have to call in for a pelican or a phantom from either the dawn or the shadow of intent if we want to get there anytime soon! Twilight sighed and opened a comm channel. Shipmaster, this is Sergeant Sparkle. Do you copy? I hear you, little demon. What do you need? Artas Vidum replied. Twilight rolled her eyes as the Arbiter's nickname was seemingly spreading. 
Corporal Hurricane and I need a ride to Halo. Our panchee isn't gonna cut it. The shipmaster remained silent for a moment. Your Sergeant Johnson is headed to your position, he finally said. Copy that. Sparkle out. Twilight said as she closed the channel. Holy hell, that's quite the pickup! Scootaloo said from up front after Twilight finished talking. Got anything on radar? She asked, curious about what Scootaloo had meant. This is the forward unto dawn. You need a ride, Sparkle? Johnson's voice came over the radio as the starship came down in front of them and opened its cargo bay. Scootaloo immediately landed in the hold. We're in, Sarge! She said as she powered down the Banshee. The hangar bay door closed behind her and the engines of the frigate hummed as they increased their power output. Report to the bridge after you two visit the armory. Johnson out. The sergeant major ordered them as he closed his comm again. Scootaloo and Twilight jumped off of the Covenant assault craft and ran towards the armory, skidding through the empty hallways as Twilight guessed that the crew had been offloaded onto the Shadow of Intent. Took you two long enough, Lucy said as she was sitting on a table with a massive grin. I heard you gathered the stuff that you two probably need over there. She said while pointing at a couple of boxes stacked in front of one of the lockers that stood in the room. Thanks, Lucy. Did the crew get dropped off of the elites? Twilight asked as she and Scootaloo picked through the crates and took out the corresponding ammo to their own weapons. Lucy wanted to answer, but was beaten by Mac. Yes, after the captain... died, well, we heard what the chief and arbiter were planning. So we dropped off the crew, and the forward unto dawn will act as our way out. You know, you could have just left with the elites, right? Twilight said to Mac, who raised an eyebrow before commenting on Twilight's remark. And leave two of my people? <laughs> It'll be a cold day in hell when that happens. Twilight smiled at Mac's statement. Thanks, Mac. We need to get going to the bridge. The others agreed and the two humans put on their helmets, following the two ponies as they made their way over to the bridge. Roger that. And ma'am, it's good to have you back. They heard the Sergeant Major say as he stood at a communications console on the empty bridge. Sergeant Sparkle, Sergeant Major. She announced herself to Johnson, who looked up from the console. Sergeant Sparkle, he said, acknowledging her. Grapple Hurricane, head back to the hangar and prep a warthog. Scootaloo saluted and ran away to carry out the order. The Chief and Arbor succeed in retrieving Cortana. They're on their way towards the Halo right now. Johnson said as he tapped in a few commands, making the frigate slow down and land. We're giving the Chief a hand in bringing Cortana to the control room. She has to get there no matter the cost. If she doesn't, the Flood wins and the galaxy gets consumed by them. He says as he picks up a Spartan laser. I've got the ride ready to go at any time, Sergeant Major. Scootaloo reported over the radio. Copy that, Hurricane. We're on our way. Johnson out. The Sergeant Major replied to the Pegasus. You heard her. Move out! At the commands, the group moved out to the Warthog. Lucy took the wheel, and the moment everyone was on board, she gunned the engine and took off towards the control room. We have to hurry up! The Chief will already have reached the Halo! Johnson said as the Warthog came to a screeching halt. The group ran through a building for a couple of minutes before they ended up on a ridge with an overview of the building that housed the control room. Flood forms were massing an attack at it as the group could see the Arbiter and Chief charging up to the top. We've got you covered, Chief. Meet you at the top of that tower. Johnson said, as he shot one of the large flood forms from the back of the pelican with a laser that he carried. Scootaloo set down the dropship at the ridge and quickly powered down before sprinting out of the back of the dropship where the others were already firing at the flood forms and were attacking the Chief and Arbiter. Mac and Lucy were firing down with DMRs, and Twilight was constantly firing her sniper rifle while simultaneously refilling ammo clips from a munitions box that she had taken with her. The Tartars with this! Scootaloo mumbled and jumped off of the ridge towards the Chief and Arbiter, who were holding up at the door on the top of the structure. Spark, you in there? Open the damn door! Johnson shouted over the radio. Of course, Reclaimer. Just as soon as you dispose of all proximate flood threats. I'm afraid contamination protocols do not allow me to- Guilty Spark replied, getting cut off by an annoyed Johnson. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Was that the Monitor? You didn't tell me that he was here. Well, we are finally doing what he wanted. Cortana said, reminding Scootaloo that the AI was also present. I've beaten fleets of thousands. Consume the galaxy of flesh and mind and bone. The Grave Mind's voice thundered through the minds of everyone present as the large wave of flood forms intensified their assault. Scootaloo jumped into the fray with her energy dagger lit and sliced out a couple of combat forms before she jumped back into cover and fired a burst of rounds from her SMG. The torso of another flood form exploded as Twilight fired a shot at it, and others well due to the fire from the two DMR wielding ODSTs. Scootaloo, under three o'clock! Twilight shouted at Scootaloo as she saw a flood form charging at the filly from the side. Scootaloo immediately turned and fired a burst into the combat form, but didn't do enough damage to take it down. The large meaty claw in the flood form crashed into the filly and launched her into the door, which incidentally gave Twilight the opportunity to fire at the combat form. Scootaloo! Twilight shouted as the filly lay motionless for a moment. Stay focused, Sparkle. Take out the remaining flood before you get to the corporal. 
Johnson said as he fired a laser at one of the remaining flood forms. Twilight grunting in response, but her firing increased as she helped pick up the last flood forms. Open up! Ghost is clear! Johnson said as the last flood form fell, and the four soldiers on the ridge charged down towards the door as it opened. The chief grabbed Scootaloo and ran inside with the Arbiter shortly followed by the others, the door closing behind them. What's her status? Twilight asked the chief, concerned for the filly. Scootaloo jolted up and groaned as she held her head. Twilight, remind me to take a crate of strong liquor with me to Equus. And we get to that point. She said, while the chief put her back onto the floor. Really, Scootaloo? It's your impossible. I try. The Pegasus said with a smirk under her helmet. The group ran towards the control room, the grave mind speaking to them while they were running. Do I take life or give it? Who was victim and who is foe? It's trying to rebuild itself on this ring! Cortana said in a slight panic. Hurry! Control room's close! Johnson said as the final door opened and they entered the control room. The room was circular with a walkway suspended over the middle and a large hologram of the unfinished halo in the middle. Yeah, can be chief. Cortana said as the door closed behind them and sealed. I'm not gonna lose her too, Johnson said as the chief tossed Cortana's chip to the sergeant major, who started walking to the control panel in the middle of the room. Twilight and Mac walked alongside him as Guilty Spark came floating towards them while humming a tune. Oh, hello. Wonderful news, the installation is almost complete. It said with an upbeat tone. Terrific, Johnson grunted, being completely uninterested in the monitor. Yes, isn't it? It said, unsure as it picked up on Johnson's tone. I have begun my simulations. No promises, but initial results indicate that this facility should be ready to fire in just a few more days. It announced proudly. We don't have a few more days! Twilight snapped at the monitor, the Sergeant Major agreeing. Exactly! He said, and started to activate the ring while Twilight and Mac eyed the monitor. b, -b, -b a premature firing will destroy the Ark! Guilty Spark shouted in alarm, Johnson dismissively shrugging. Deal with it. We'll destroy this installation. Guilty Spark quietly said, both Mac and Twilight tensing up from the monitor's next move. The monitor's eyes suddenly turned red. And this is when all hell breaks loose, and it certainly looks like it too. But since there's more soldiers on standby, they could all make it out alive. Maybe. Anywho, let's get on to our sharpshooters of donators. Top donators Peter Coltard, J10 Man, Darkseid, Gauntlet, and only one thing. Star 630, Strix, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Drake Love Dragon, Pastel Skies, Austin Roland, Crazy Color 557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyrae, Dospo, Delta Omega, Jack Hadge, Runes Life 9852, Madman Stan, Leslie Perkett, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, Line God 12, Sorcerer Constantine, Hut Zaza, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.